Hi everyone, hope you enjoyed the last two videos of this joy making series. It's now a bar term and Valentine's Day now done and dusted. We're back at it again. And we're going to use an alternative material for this video. We're going to use rat tail to make a necklace and choker. So yes, as before, this video will be in two halves. So we're going to do the necklace first. So the materials need are length of rat tail cord, which I bought from eBay. One of our Tibetan silver charms. Class for some description. We've used the lobster. Yeah, we're going to use the lobster one for for this one, as before. Now for this video, we're going to use uh, we're going to use some, uh, some crimp fittings to attach the attach our items to the cord. So you can see them here. These. So we're going to be using some different tools on this one. So I'll show you in a moment. So we've got our selection of jump rings. We've got two, we've got two small ones, a large one, a medium. Tools required. Scissors. Our long nose plies you'll remember from previous videos. Tape measure and our new tools, these are crimping pliers. You can, you can see it there's some in the nose of the pliers there, there's some special jaws which will which will clamp down on these on the crimp fittings when, when we thread this through in a moment. So the measurements required for part one of the project and Nexus are coming up in just a few moments on the next slide. Okay fellow crafters, here we go. So we've got our piece of rat tail cut to the right length. And we're going to clamp, we're going to attach one of these uh, All these crimped ends onto the onto the rat tail. So we just thread it in there like so. We'll take our crimping pliers. We'll see it's different there's different sort of sort of jaws in there. So with the end of the pliers just as close, just gently squeeze the top there, not too much, just enough to hold the rat tail in place and to start the actual cl start clamping it use the we'll use the jaws on the in the nearest to your hand and just as you can see there's the top part of the jaw with a curve and this one has a sort of has a tight as a flat part so and then we'll just gently squeeze pliers together See now it's just starting to go. Start at the back and then move forward, and then clamp it down once, then twice. And that's, uh, so there we have your first clamped fitting. Sometimes it's best just to go over it a couple of times just to make absolutely sure it's clamped down and nice and tight so it won't come apart. You can see the see where it's yeah, see where it's um, where the crimp is. it there. Right, so next stage we're going to take our, our charm and we're going to use one of our, we we'll use the large jump ring of the, of the four we've selected for this particular project and if you remember from previous videos, our previous tutorials how to, how to, how to open and close the jump ring, so both pair applies in one hand, so make sure one in one left, one in the right, and just 
gradually pull them apart like that. Golden, golden rule with using jump rings and using the two pair of pliers method is to make sure you've got a nice tight grip or as they will as it will slip. So we are attaching our so we just thread it as we thread through our charm onto the where's in our rat tail just pull it through uh, just rest it there like that no need to worry about putting it through or anything so we'll adjust it when we've got the remainder of the got the other connector the other crimp fitting in place There's our charm attached, and next we're going to go back to the other end of the cord and put on our our second crimp fitting. So. Bear with me a moment while we just open this one up a bit more so we can get the get the rat you know thread the rat tail through. There we go. Just holding your finger and thumb. As before, using the ends of the pliers to clamp it down into the back jaws and just gently clamp the front down and the back and the front and the back. So there we go, that's our crimp fittings in place. Does it does take a little bit of practice to get used to these and you might get better results using the round these other crimp fittings here. These are some of the other ones I've I've got the round ones. So the core to go through there like so, then clamp it down. So I think I would, I'm probably more inclined to use these ones or rather than the ones I've shown you just now because these ones, the crimp doesn't always turn out as neatly as you'd hoped. So, yeah, I'd, I'd, so yeah, just sort of experiment really, see which ones work, yeah, see which ones work the best. So without further ado, we're on to, we're on to the home stretch of our first rat tail necklace. Rat tail necklaces they're a good they're a good alternative for people who obviously who can't wear either the gold and silver ones we've covered in previous videos and if you haven't seen any of those videos on our gold and silver necklaces I you know go you know, go check them out. There's lo there's loads on there, there's loads of different things on there to try and this is growing. This is growing. There's also we're covering all sorts of different subjects over the over the coming months. Uh, as you can see, that's our that's our lobster that's our lobster clasp. So just attach with one jump ring, or if um, if if you prefer, you can use a uh, either a magnetic magnetic clasp or the or the threaded ones we've used before. Uh, so it's just um yeah it's a sort of have a look at sort of have a look around the internet at your local craft shop and there's all sorts of different classes you can use to suit your different needs. So as so we're just putting the last the last of the jump rings on. So as before, two pairs of pliers, one in left, one in right hands, and 
pull it apart and to pull it back together just push it together like that that's uh, that's one of the well, apologies for that as the jump ring wasn't tightened up as it should be but Easily, it's easily, it's easy, you know, it's easily done, so no need to panic. Right, so that's that done. So, on the, so I'll use the larger jump ring on this one to make a tap, make threading the lobster, lobster clasp in attach your lobster cast always best to use a larger one or or you can attach it straight to the crimp fitting if it's the if it's the right size if there's the right size so I, I tend to add a jump ring just to make life a little easier and uh, so there we have it the very first rat's tail necklace with a silver plated charm. So coming up in the second half of the video, we'll show you how to make a companion choker for this one using the same using the same method and some different fittings. So stay, yep, so stay tuned for that. Hi everyone, hope you enjoyed the last two videos of this joy making series. It's now a half term and Valentine's Day now done and dusted we're back at it again and we're going to use an alternative material for this video we're going to use rat tail to make a necklace and choker so yes as before this video will be in two halves so we're going to do the necklace first so materials need are length of rat tail cord to bought from ebay one of our tobacco silver charms Class for some description. We're going to use the lobster. Yeah, we're going to use the lobster one for for this one, as before. And for this video, we're going to use uh, we're going to use some, uh, some crimp fittings to attach the attach our items to the cord. So you can see them here. These. So we're going to be using some different tools on this one. So I'll show you in a moment. So we've got a selection of jump rings. We've got two, we've got two small ones, a large one, a medium. Tools required. Scissors. Our long nose pliers. You'll remember from previous videos tape measure and our new tools these are crimping pliers you can you can see it there's some in the nose of the pliers there there's some special jaws which will which will clamp down on these on the crimp fittings and when we thread this through in a moment so the measurements required for part one of the project the nexus are coming up in just a few moments on the next slide Okay fellow crafters, here we go for part two. Now to make our choker, we're going to follow the same instructions we did in part one. So we have our length of rat tail cord, which we used earlier. This is all this is pre-cut. We'll be using the same we'll be using the same crimp fittings as before. So there'll be two of those, one on each end. You'll see we've got a head start on this one, so we've got the first one. Oh, apologies, camera doesn't want to focus today. There we go. So that's the first so that's the first sort of crimp up close. So we've got our, so that's our first our first crimp. 
Now since we can use the larger jump rings to attach the charm, we can put the so we can put the second we can put the second crimp on now to So we've got our crimp fitting. Put that into the put the rat tail into the into the fitting. That's for best way to hold it is to hold the hold the fitting and the and the rat tail on your finger and fore four thumb. So our crimping pliers using the just use the ends just to close the end yeah just use the end nose of the pliers just to close it up just a little just a little bit just to hold the rat tail in place. And into the back into the back of the jaws at the far end. And as before, just squeeze down from the top. Up in the back. And then like that. So so as you fall with the with the cramp with the clamp crimp, sorry. Um so we go one, two three and four just make sure yeah, just that leaves that way it's, it's crimped evenly and that'll st yeah, that'll stay nice and tight because we don't want to make jewelry and it come apart after a couple of days because that's uh not ideal but that's half that's half the fun we learn that's how we learn reese to make sure uh, when making mistakes which I think we may have seen a lot of in this video today. Of um, obviously drops ball a few times on this for the reason being is um, because I don't make I don't make very many rat tail necklaces for my shop. So this is the first time I've done this properly in six months. And also, I'd like to share another secret with you today. Is that um, I also suffer from depression and anxiety. So that's probably why you often hear me go quiet on the video and. Sometimes run out of things to say, but the reason, but, um, yeah, as you can see, and that's that's another reason why I'm doing these videos. It's all to, it's all to help with them, um, with the anxiety, and also help my fellow mental health sufferers with their well-being by showing them, a, showing them craft as a form of therapy. But anyway, that's enough about me. We'll get down to finishing the finishing our project. So we're going to use. This is uh, this is one of the threaded um, connector class I mentioned earlier. Now this one, because there's a large hook on the end, as you can as you can really see it. We'll see him a bit here. Yes, yeah, this one. There's a large hook on the end, so we don't really need to add a jump ring. So that makes it a little bit easier. It makes it better. So take our crimp fitting on the loop. Easier to use the pliers holding yeah, holding in place because the end parts sliding around a lot with these ones. Going to get so we're just going to there we are. That's gone through there. Now just use the pliers. So use your pliers to close that hook at the top. So, yeah, so hold the bottom part of your clasp in finger and fore thumb. And use the pliers, give it a little tiny squeeze. And that'll, that'll hold that together. Then repeat on the, other, repeat on the other side with the other half. This is the, yeah, this is the actual, this is the, th yeah, this is the thread, this is the actual threaded part. I'll show you in a bit. I'll show you just in a moment. That was really yeah. Sorry, my apologies. Camera's not focusing. Today. Yeah, there we go. You can see the you can just see the thread there. So when it goes into the other part of the class, we just turn it and that will go together like so. You can also use the magnetic ones, what we've also mentioned in previous videos. 
they work quite well for especially for bracelets because um obviously lobster ones can't be di yeah, quite difficult when you've only got one hand free to fasten it so i would say for i would say if you're going to make yeah if you're going to make bracelets use use the magnetic ones necklaces any yeah you can use any any firm any findings any any sort of fastener for that but traditionally i use the lob i use the lobster ones because they're seems to be yes they're the most readily available and they they work for yeah, they work quite well there we go so that's right so we've got our large jump ring this one's a this is a six this is a six mil jump ring we're going to use um because the because the cord's a lot thicker than the um opening on the on our charm there we're going to use a larger jump ring for this um you can always um you can, you can always use a thinner you, know, you can always use thinner rat tail i think the thinnest available i've seen so far is about one millimeter and that's Basically, like it's um, sort of thin wall, and that would um, that would work better. So it's just a case, it's just a case for just seeing what works. Try out a few things, experiment. That's how that's how I normally do these things. That's a yeah, that's not quite close yet. Yeah, now it is. We've got our charm on our choker. Now we're going to just put the thready parts together. And, uh, and And there we have it, our very first, your very first rat tail choker. Um, just something I uh, forgot to mention at the beginning of this video is the, obviously with the lengths we're using, as you probably remember if you've watched previous videos of mine, is to um, obviously adjust the lengths accordingly to make sure it's going to be comfortable because, as you probably know, with a choker it's, uh, it's, it fits very tight around the neck, so we've made sure we've got maybe, maybe one or two millimetres extra extra cord just to make sure it fits make sure it fits comfortably and and also the rat tail is the best use because it's not um it doesn't have a rough feel it's a very sort of sapphire it's a lot of satin finish so it's very so it fits so it's nice and comfortable so it won't chafe it's all about it's all about being comfortable that's yeah that's the that's the name of the game so that's so there we are well, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're one of our regular regular subscribers, you know the drill. Don't forget to give us a like. Don't forget to subscribe. Follow us on the social media pages. We're coming up at the end of the video. Also, you can shop with us on our website, www.runningmecrafts.com. And also follow us on Patreon. and help support our work in the community. So once again, thanks for watching. And of course, stay crafty.